Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take this registered project and we're going to look at it in a 3D point cloud view. Now, we can look at that view in two ways. We jump to our Explore pro the Project view here, and as you can see, nothing is coming up because none of the scans in the tree on the left side have been loaded. There has not been a project point cloud created. So in order to look at the point cloud without the project point cloud being created, we just simply right click on the main scans folder and load all scans. The more scans you have, the longer this takes. The higher the resolution that you had set on the scanner when you took the scans, the longer it's going to take to load. Now that we've given this project a few minutes to load the scans here on the left, we have the full project point cloud loaded. And it's at 33%, 50% down here in the right hand corner. You can see how much detail has been loaded and how many points have been loaded. So at 100% detail, we have 226 million points loaded. This is significant because the more points you have to load, the slower your project is going to to move on the computer. It's gonna be more taxing on the computer with the point cloud engine. Uh, many of you have uh, computers that maybe don't have quite enough RAM, and uh, this is something that you're going to see move very slowly uh, because of the number of points that it has to continually generate and move uh, to make this image appear accurately. Now, if we wanna create a project point cloud, we simply go to the top right hand corner, left click and create. Yes, and save. With this box open, we can leave all of the defaults and just say okay. Now our project point cloud has been created. It took a little over eight minutes. And we can now go to this left side tree, right click, and unload all the scans. Uh, this, this is something you can also save at this point so that the next time you pull your project up, your, it will pull up more quickly because the computer doesn't have to load each one of the scans to get to this point. <clears throat> so now if we want to take a look, right click, 3D view, without having any of the scans loaded on the left side, our entire project is loaded and it moves around very easily because if you take a look down here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got a million points loaded with a 100% subsample. So uh, what we're able to see is the entire project with just a fraction of the points loaded on the screen. Uh, obviously, the larger the project that you're dealing with, uh, the even better this will become for you. Uh, you will have a much better um, reactive uh, project when you're looking at it in, three, in 3D. And also you can begin to create uh, clipping boxes. Uh, you can't do that unless you've got a project point cloud created. So just jump into a, an auto clipping box. And as you can see, uh, now we've got the ability to, to chop up our, our project in any, any different number of ways. I hope this has, helps explain the advantages of working with a project point cloud. Good luck with your projects.